Giovanna and Tori, investigators say speed was a factor in this fatal accident. One look at the scene behind me here, and you get a pretty clear idea of just how violent this accident was. You can see it completely took out the awning of this building and claimed two lives. A heartbroken cousin surveys the scene. Candles sit in front of the partially collapsed building, marking the spot of the deadly accident. It's just sad. It's just sad that this is not a happy to us. So tragic, but I just, just can't stand <laughs> this is Christopher Giles, the 27 year old and his cousin sharing a laugh. Giles' family now mourning his sudden loss and the death of his girlfriend after a violent car crash on Crenshaw Boulevard. He was a real hard worker, dedicated family man. You know, he was really, really, really tied in to his family, man. He went all out for everybody around him. The accident happened just after 9 a.m. in Hyde Park. Giles' cousin said he had just picked up his girlfriend at work and they were on their way home. According to detectives, speed was a factor in the crash. The black Lincoln LS sedan northbound on Crenshaw when Giles lost control, hitting a fire hydrant and light pole. After it hit the hydrant and the pole, it flipped on its back on its side. Uh, it landed uh, right under that building with both the driver and the passenger ejected from the vehicle. Authorities say neither were wearing a seatbelt. Both victims pronounced dead at the scene. The crash happening on a stretch of Crenshaw known for high speeds and ongoing construction. As authorities investigate the exact cause of the fatal crash, two families are left struggling to comprehend the devastating loss. This is not easy for us, man. This is not easy for around the holiday time and taking this loss like this, man. You know, Chris was a good spirited person, man, a good spirited person. He loved everybody, everybody, everybody so difficult for so many. Now this building, which is vacant, has now been red tagged. Authorities looking for any witnesses to that fatal crash. If you have any information, you're urged to call the LAPD. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.